the time. Oh, uh, sure. Yeah, of course. Might be a way to deal with my... anger. Yeah, beating the crap out of me makes you feel better. I'm all for it. Aloy! You came back with some interesting... friends. I wish I could say we don't need them. But Silence and Tilda are here for a reason. Even Regala. Yeah. Enemy of my enemy and all that, right? Right. I guess Silence is keeping to himself, as usual. I was hoping you'd give me an excuse to hammer his sorry ass to the ground. Please don't. You telling me you wouldn't want to get just one good hit on that smug face of his? After everything he's done? Sure. Later. Right now, he's got something we need. Doesn't look like any of our guests are making trouble. Yet. So, Catalo uh, tells me you flew. Well, that's new. I've been busting my bulks trying to learn to read. You're, you're out there having all the fun. Don't worry. You'll be getting all the fun you can handle soon. With the Zeniths. Looking forward to it. You, uh, talked to Tilda at all? I tried. I don't think even a hot forge could melt that ice. And you say she wants to help? I think so. Well, let's hope. I found out more about the Sons of Prometheus. They definitely have a base. It's a place called First Forge. We just have to find it. First Forge? All right, that's it then. I know where that is. You found one of them? A Sons of Prometheus operative? Hey, he was posing as a Delver, but my focus locked onto his. When he saw me coming, he ran. I caught up with him. He tried to crush his focus, but there was still data on it. A bunch of locations and coordinates. One of them was called First Forge. I didn't know what it meant till now. Nice job. Ah, you know me. Ancient tech expert. Send me those coordinates, okay? Now hold on, Aloy. I'm coming with you. Asera is the last of a line of killers that murdered Ursa. And I need to be there when she goes down. Of course. Send me the location and I'll call you when I'm close. All right then. I better get going. Oh, you know where to find me. Aloy. It appears that we have some interesting new guests. I'm glad to see you're okay, though. I heard you gave the Tanakh something to talk about. I was half expecting you to burst in through the ceiling riding a Sunwing. Sorry to disappoint. Have you talked to any of our new friends? Aaron and I tried speaking to Silence, but apparently our tribal prattle is unnecessary. Charming, isn't he? How's Aaron doing? For a moment there, he thought he'd lost both you and Varl. But he never truly succumbed to despair. Guess that Asaram's stubbornness comes in handy sometimes. Ready to head over to the Zenith base? Whatever comes, we will endure. Thoughts on our new Zenith acquaintance? I'd say she smells like death, but even death smells of something. She's more like a cold piece of metal, bent on repelling all semblance of life. She's definitely different. I have to go. I trust you to keep things civil around here? I'll make sure Aaron doesn't punch Silence in the face, if that's what you mean. Thanks. You... you flew? Kotala told me! And took out Regala's machines? You know what? I don't even know why I'm surprised. I saw we have visitors... and a new weapon. Does this mean we're ready to take the fight to the Zeniths? Almost. 
Are you okay? I was wondering, is it really safe having someone like Regala here? She seems angry. The kind of angry that leads to murdering people in their sleep. Don't worry. We're going to point that anger in the right direction. The Zeniths. If you say so. I hope our new guests have been behaving. The Silence? He's the one who built the weapon that can take down Zenith shields? He is. Though I wouldn't expect him to answer any questions about it. He refuses to dole out his secrets to us lesser mortals. Oh. You know that special part of us that makes us warm, kind, welcoming? Our... spirit? Yeah. He was born without that. You sure you're okay going on this mission? I know things must be happening pretty fast for you. Uh, I've already braved oceans and madmen who thought they were ancestors reborn. Why not a few immortals with lethal drones at their command too? Guess the more the merrier. I suppose you saw that Tilda is here, our very own Zenith. I almost went up to her to ask her, well, every question I've ever had about the legacy. Every diviner I know would kill to get five minutes with one of the old ones. But now that she's here, all I feel is a vague unease. I don't know if I'm scared of finding out more uncomfortable truths or just scared of her. Probably both. I need to wrap up a few things, but stay sharp. I'll be ready when you call. There's Gwen stuff in here now. Must be all of us. I see you've got your new arm ready to go. Yes. It still feels strange. I've gotten used to the absence, but no matter. I'm sure I will need it before the attack on the Zenith base is through. So, our enemy is immortal. Most of my people don't survive past 30. Haven't seen you since the battle at the Grove. How are you holding up? I saw you fly on the wings of the Ten and paralyze Regala's army with lightning. I would say that I am... <sighs> inspired. Thank you, I guess. It is I who should be thanking you. Look, I know you're probably not happy about keeping Regala around, but I want her on our side when we fight the Zeniths. It is more than she deserves. Even so... I will not question your judgment. Thank you, Catalo. Things will get ugly once the Zenus realize we're in their base. You'll need every trick you've ever learned. I would have it no other way. Many soldiers died in the old world to make sure we stood here today. We will endure on their behalf. Though, I am curious how you intend to defeat the Zenith's defenses without an army of our own. Leave that to me. Just make sure you're ready to fight. As you say. You have more than earned my trust. Did you meet Tilda? There is something about her that... doesn't seem natural. I wouldn't be surprised if my sword went through her and... and she didn't bleed at all. Honestly, with her, nothing would surprise me. Your people keep mentioning the Wings of the Ten. What exactly does it mean? The visions tell us that the Ten flew on great metal machines with wings and leapt into battle from the sky for us.
to imitate this feat is the ultimate expression of martial prowess. It is why the challengers leap into the arena during the cool route. And now, you have done it. <laughs> like the deeds of the Ten themselves, it will never be forgotten. So, tell me, how did it feel? I won't lie, pretty good. I can only imagine. I have to go. But I'll be briefing everyone on the plan soon. Understood. There you are. Well done, Aloy. Despite my... Reservations, you managed to secure Silence and his weapon. You're truly a shining example of Liz's fortitude. I've been thinking about what you said at your house. How you were friends with Elizabeth. It was more than that, wasn't it? Perceptive as ever. You're right, we were together for a time. Okay, so... What happened? I was an orphan. I had always been alone. By my 30s, I was starting to wonder if that was simply my fate in life. And then I met Liz. We kept running into each other at conferences. We'd have coffee. At some point, it became drinks. I thought it was just shop talk, an exchange of ideas, but then I was surprised at how much I looked forward to seeing her. Soon we were flying halfway across the world every other week just to meet up. For the first time, I didn't feel lonely. I could imagine a future where I wasn't. I think Liz felt the same way at first. She had lost her mother a few years back. I filled a void for her. I know I did. But as time passed, it seemed as though she wanted less when I wanted more, and so we ended things. So helping me, restoring Elizabeth's dream, it's what, a... A second chance, yes. I made a mistake leaving Earth while Liz stayed behind. I should have done more. So when I saw you, a woman who has carved her own remarkable path, beyond even what made Liz a phenomenon, I knew I had to help you, to do right by her. <laughs>